Okay, another concept we need to go over uh, of inscribed angles. Notice I took down the definition. I call this the inscribed angle, the inscribed right angle theorem. Okay, inscribed right angle theorem. If an inscribed angle intercepts a diameter, then the angle is a right angle. Huh? If an inscribed angle intercepts a diameter, then the angle is a right angle. The converse is also true. If an inscribed angle is a right angle, then it intercepts a diameter. So both of those are true. If I have an inscribed angle, and it creates, and I know that it inscribes, or it intercepts a diameter, then it's a right angle. Here's an example of that. We have circle R. I have angle LMN. I know, and I'm told, and I'm given that LN is a diameter. Therefore, angle LMN is a right angle. Okay? Has to be. All right? That's just what I'm given. LN is a diameter, then angle LMN is a right angle. Okay, let's go over here. Have another example. I have angle XYZ. I don't know where the diameter is, but I know that angle XYZ is a right angle. Therefore, oh wow, let's spell therefore correctly. Therefore, XZ, segment XZ, is a diameter. Why? Because if you have an inscribed angle of a circle that is a right angle, it is going to intercept a diameter. Okay? Very powerful theorem. Lots of stuff here. Lots of ways to, to solve things. And you're just expected to know. What are you expected to know? If I have a circle and I have an inscribed angle that's a right angle, wow, it creates a diameter. Just know that is. You have a problem on your homework that looks exactly like that. This one over here. If I have a diameter and I have an angle that intercepts that, that angle is a right angle. Okay, the last concept we want to talk about on inscribed angles is um, pretty simple. Again, it makes sense. We'll actually prove it. Uh, I'll show you what the proof is. But here's what it is. I call it the Inscribed Quadrilateral Opposite Angle Theorem. Long name, simple concept. Inscribed Quadrilateral Opposite Angle Theorem. If a quadrilateral is inscribed, good tail off that A, if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles, symbol for angles, are supplementary. Huh? Well, I think that means this. If a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is a, tell me, come on, come on, come on. It's a four-sided figure. And that's a polygon with four sides. Correct. If a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, that means what? The vertices, its corners are on the circle, and its cords are inside the circle. The sides create cards. That's very correct, Robin. Then its opposite angles are supplementary. Opposite means the ones where? Uh, opposite, mean, opposite means they're across from each other. What? That's absolutely correct, Keith. Very good. All right, so what we're talking about is if we have a quadrilateral, and here's a picture of it. We have a circle, and a quadrilateral is inscribed in that circle, okay? The opposite angles are going to be supplementary. We have J, K, L, M, then J and L are supplementary angles. Also, K and M. Angles K and M are supplementary. That also means that the measure of angle J 
and the measure of angle L equal 180 degrees. Okay? It also means that the measure of angle K and the measure of angle M equals 180 degrees. Okay? Any questions? What, why, why is that true? Well, let's look at it. Let's look at it and see what we can figure out. We know that the measure of arc JKL, J go through K and come to L. Well, J through K come to L. Well, that's this arc, right? And the measure of arc JML, well, this is this part of the circle. This is this part of the circle. We've got the whole circle, don't we? Whole circle equals what? It equals 360 degrees. So we know that if we take those two right there, okay, we've got the whole circle. Well, what is this arc created with? If we take angle K, it's created with angle K. Starts at J, goes through K, comes to L. That's created by angle K. This arc, JML, is created by angle M. Starts at J, goes through M, ends at L. Okay? So they're created by two different angles. Got it? Now let's go back to the first concept we introduced of inscribed angles. Okay? The arcs intercepted by an inscribed angle are twice the measure of the angle. Or the angle that intercepts an arc is half the measure of the intercepted arc. So this angle here plus this angle here is going to be half of the measure of the arcs. Well, the measure of the arcs is what? 360. So half of 360 is 180. That means these two, which create the whole arcs, which create the whole circle, are going to equal 180. Can we say the same thing about J and L? Yes. The arc created by angle J and the arc created by angle L, when added together, is the entire circle. Therefore, half of that is going to be 180. Okay? Look at that. Very powerful. Very powerful, very powerful. Okay, any questions? Well, we, we know some, uh, I'd like to do some sample problems. Coach, can we do those? Well, what I want you to do to start with is I want you to use these concepts, work the problems, let's see here where you go. And then we'll come back after you try this a little bit and we'll do some sample problems. Is that okay? Well, I really need some sample problems, Coach. I really got to help. We'll get to them, but I want you to try this first. Okay, try this first. Use your notes. Watch the videos. And uh, neighbors, ask me questions. Try this and let's see where we go. And then we'll put some sample problems out there. All right.